To tie our slip knot, we are going to take our silk on the inside of our arm, wrap up to the sky, find our tail with our free hand, and bring it to our shoulder. From here, we're going to clear our wrist, and we can slide our hand down to create a lower slip knot. Give your tail to your other hand or the wrapped hand. Now your free hand can reach under the loop to grab the post, which is around your wrist. That hand is now going to pull the silk towards it or the post towards it to open up a loop and pull your tail towards you until you've got about a foot and pull that strongly to the floor. To untie your slip knot, find your two tails and pull them apart. To tie a slip knot at the correct height each time takes practice, so I'm going to tie it again. To get into our backpack position, we are going to split our silks above our slip knot. Bring one hand through the middle to bring our silk behind us with our thumbs facing up. Bring our shoulders into the knot. And if necessary, you have to give a little bit of a jump to make sure your knot is under your shoulder blade. To get into my straddle back, I'm going to start in my backpack position. I'm going to pull down with my arms as I lift my legs up in a nice big straddle. Once my hips are up, I'm going to lean back or push away from the silk to go into my full invert, making sure that my legs stay in the straddle and are on the outsides of the silk. To get out of straddle back, I'm going to have my hands up high, sit up as I bring my legs to the floor. To get into my gazelle, I'm going to start in my backpack position and go into a straddle back. From straddle back, I'm going to pull my legs together in a pike in front of my face. And then I'm going to pick one leg, it does not matter which. I'm going to hook this knee over both silks, trying to get it nice and clean to the back of the knee, and then bring the free leg towards the ground behind me. You can bring your hands out. Remember, if you are flexible, you can reach for that foot. To get out, reverse the steps. This can be a little tricky to get it correct, so I'm going to play it for you again. American Trail consists of three skills, American, uh, American Trail, Reverse American Trail, and Cuddle. We're going to start in straddle back, crochet one leg, reach up high with our opposite hand, and pull that silk into our armpit. 
to get to reverse, we're going to bring up our free leg, press it against the silk, unthread our originally crocheted leg, and thread it back through the space between the silk and the leg so that the silk is on the outside of our thigh. Sit back up. To get into cuddle, we are going to bring both legs up onto that silk. So we're going to bring our free leg up, hug it on top of the other, and then bring our other silk or opposite silk into our shoulder. To get out, you can bring one or both hands to the silk that has both your knees and pull to sit up. This skill has a lot of steps, so I'm going to do it one more time in slow motion. To do my butterfly, I'm going to start in straddle back, bring my legs together with the back side of the silk, and slide to the knot that's on my thighs and sit up. From here, I'm going to hold a little bit above my head. I'm going to lean back until the knot catches behind my knees. I'm then going to pick one leg to stand on, lifting the other leg out of the way. Stand all the way up. Hands are going to go straight up, nice and high, with thumbs facing the ceiling. From here, my free leg is going to go to my knee, and I'm going to press forward, arching. I can let my hand slide to increase the arch to get out, pull the hips, and then the shoulders back through. To do my double thigh lock to gazelle, I'm going to start in my straddle back. I'm going to crochet both legs by bringing the foot through the middle and the toe back out as I extend my legs, bend both knees, and reach above. To ease the transition into the double thigh lock, I'm going to bring my legs into a pike and then press into my straddle as I pull up with my arms. To get to gazelle from double thigh lock, I'm going to bring both hands to one silk, it does not matter which, and then I'm going to lean forward and towards the chosen side, allowing the opposite side silk to go to the chosen side leg. Bend that top leg super strong, and you can walk your hands down or drop, remember to keep that knee bent. To get out of double thigh lock to gazelle, I'm going to bring my free leg forward. Unhook so I'm in my straddle back, gather my tail, and toss it through the middle of my silks. And I'm going to sit up as I bring my legs down to come out of straddle back. This skill has a lot of steps, so I'm going to do it one more time in slow motion. <laughs> 